Manchester star are back. What a match this is going to be. Women's champion. We have not crowned a women's champion in over a year. It's been vacant for a year since our last reach uh, women's champion, Aurora. That was our last reach women's champion over a year ago. Well, I just hope this match is better than your introduction to this match, Joe, but uh, that being said, I am very excited for this one. The matches keep getting bigger and better, and a very momentous occasion as we crown a brand new Reach Wrestling Women's Champion right here at the New Continental tonight in Helena. I've got to say, looking at these two, my money is on the show herself, Nadia Saka. Of course I can it see her taking the belt home. You know, me and Nadia go back a little while. I've got to say, I wasn't her biggest fan, but since she's arrived here in Greek, I do like her change of attitude, and I'm firmly behind Nadia to take the throne for the goal tonight. This is going to be a tough contest for both women. A lot on the line, I'll say, so a new women's champion. And we haven't crowned one, like I said, in over a year, so there's a lot of pressure on these two Wow, this is a lot of grappling here, trying to show which one's the better woman. Trying to reverse this waist lock. Oh, straight into the headlock. Beautiful. Oh, and a roll through. Pin. So you'd have to feel that Nadia would have the advantage in this exchange of holes. Olivia probably wants to play a more high-flying game here. Use her speed to an advantage. Whereas Nadia's just going to have the power of all of these moves. And there we are, slapping the face of Aluna as well. Like I said, I like her attitude since she's arrived here in Beach. Nadia. And I sit out there. Oh no, straight into a pin there. Quick kick out. Take a lot more than that to take that belt out. I'm going to go into the ropes like the chicken dish. It's probably easy to be fair. There's no need for that. A nice clean break from Nadia. I'd just like to point that out because I know you're biased. Joe, I know you're not going to point that out with I, someone No, like that. I agree with you. It was a nice clean break, but it's not something we're used to seeing from Nadia Sapphire. I need to point out that you've shown the break clean and it took me to say. Wrestling, showcasing the best of British women's wrestling here at the New both women wrestle all over the country and now they are here at Reach Wrestling competing for the Reach Women's Championship. I think both girls went for a slap there. They hit each other at the same time from what I can see. Nadia having a go at Mr. Brown. He's putting everyone off to be fair. You'd have to feel that the winner of this match will be defending that title at the upcoming shows. We have next year, don't forget February 10th, we will be in Plymouth for our NHS charity show. February 18th, we are at Marjon University. Nice take down there. Of course, we've got April 20th, we are making our debut down in Launceston. You can get your tickets at retressing.com. Nice reverse race up there by Nadia Sapphire on Luna Blue, and Luna trying her best to get out of it. But Nadia keeps wrenching on that waist. We're trying to get the hands to separate. And it works. Straight into the headlock. Nadia now in a tight headlock. Going off the ropes. Neither woman can take each other down there with the shoulder tackle. This is what I mean. This is going to be a very close contest here tonight. And like I said, a little trying to outpower Nadia. That's not probably going to work for her. I never thought I'd say this, but I agree with you there. She needs to use her speed and agility to counter Nadia Sapphire's strength and power. Oh, nice drop toe hold there by Aluna Blue. Nadia going face first. Oh, and the basement drop kick right to the jaw of Nadia Sapphire. But Nadia very cleverly rolling out of the ring. But there are no timeouts. She's calling for a timeout. There are no timeouts in wrestling. 
no time out. It's actually healthy there, Joe. Thank you for the uh, agility and the speed. It's almost like you had a good idea. You, you, you got it from me, obviously. It took me to say it because obviously you've got no idea what it takes to be in uh, competing. Unlike me, who's going to be uh, winning the Christmas Rumble on December 10th, as I do on the Don't you worry about Nadia's timeouts. Right to the chest of Nadia Sapphire from Aluna there. Oh, a big forearm shot as well, rocking the jaw of Nadia. We're up to the count of four by the referee, up to the count of five now. We've only got until the count of ten. These girls need to get back in the ring. Well, Aluna shouldn't be going to the outside. Dirty tactics, really, going to the outside. Oh, and another chop from Aluna. Yeah. Really got to consider getting back in the ring now. We don't want to see a double counter. Not for this momentous occasion. Double counter is not fun. We want to see a winner crowned tonight. Oh wow! Running knee straight to the side of the face of the Luna Blue, sending her back to the outside as she was getting into the ring. I mean, Nadia could have let Aluna get in the ring. That would have been good sportsmanship, but we never see good sportsmanship from Nadia Sapphire. Oh, was it good sportsmanship when Aluna was taking advantage of Nadia on the outside? And you'll see this again, the bias comes from Joe. I'm going to have a bit. I'm going to be here from now on to make sure you're doing things right down to the middle. I look forward to that. Aluna now trying to drag herself into the ring, clambering up on those ropes. Managing to roll into the ring, Nadia now. Oh, driving her face straight into the canvas. I mean, she's pulling the hair now, driving it straight into the canvas again. And we're going for a cover. Will there be a kick out? There is just after two. Kick out from a Luna Blue. Oh, Nadia now using the ropes to her advantage. Choking the life out of a Luna Blue. Breaking before the count of five. Yeah, you will find yourself in a vulnerable position now. Nadia, Nadia, in control of this one. Are we about to see Nadia Crail as the Reach Women's Champion? First time as a title. I've been on the line over a year, that was nasty. That looks very nasty, Brad. I agree with you there, and I don't do that much, but I agree with you on that one. Have you heard yourself? I don't That you do, you love the time you have You can worry about the action in the ring. Nadia now backing away from a Luna Blue in the corner. With a big shoulder to the gut. Nadia trying to display her strength. Oh, and a Luna manages to just slip out of that, I think. Just managed to slip out. Now, what have we got here? Are we going for a roll-up? Yes, we are. And we're up to the count of two. Nice kick out there from Nadia Sapphire. Aluna now trying to go for the schoolboy. Rolls her up again. Nadia with another kick out. Aluna trying everything she's got to keep Nadia down on that map and become the new Reach Women's Champion. Oh, wow, the big T-bone suplex. Wow. That was a great throw. Momentum of a Luna who was building for the momentum there, so I will admit the crowd favourite for sure, a Luna, but uh, beautiful stop there. Uh, We've got a nice wrist lock there from Nadia. A Luna trying to counteract, but Nadia goes straight for the reverse waist lock, flips her around. What have we got here? What is she going for here? Looks like some sort of armbar, but it's tearing at the shoulder. It's got it very class, tight around the elbow. Down for the pin. On a kick out from Aluna. Just before the three. Oh, and a big stomp to the gut. Of Aluna Blue. They are going to the Putting it all on the line to try and move away. 
Only one can walk away. Which one is it going to be? Is it going to be Aruna Blue? Is it going to be Nadia Sapphire? This is a close contest so far. Nadia Sapphire managing for now to get the advantage. Aluna now sneaking a schoolboy roll up. Nadia kicking out just before three. And now Nadia unleashing the slaps and the punches, ground and pound to Aluna Blue. Got a nice tight sleeper hold on Aluna Blue there. This could be it. This can wear Aluna down to the point where Nadia will claim that women's championship. Nadia definitely has the upper hand. If this match is being scored on points, Nadia would be firmly winning. She's had the upper hand of most of this match. These idiots that you call the Reach Army, they're trying to cut their hands, but that's going to do little to help Aluna in this situation. Luna now feeding off the energy of the crowd. They are loud and they are behind Luna. They want her to be the women's champion. She is going in with the forearm strikes. Oh, wow, and a big slap. Wow. A huge slap. Wow. That rocks the new Continental, that did, Brad. Right, taken not just the wind out of Luna, but the wind out of this crowd as well. They are stunned. Oh, try and slap from Aluna. Down it goes Nadia. Aluna getting some fire here. I don't know where she's getting this from though. Absolutely amazing, Brad. She is digging deep right now. Trying to use the momentum. Trying to use the energy of the crowd to take it to Nadia Sapphire and it seems to be working right now on oh, a big slap back to Nadia and then Luna knows that was a big slap oh wow and a double clothesline both women taken out wow referee starting the count they've got until the count of 10 to get up if neither woman get up, we don't crown a new women's champion. So we need them. We need them to feed. We need them to get up. We want to crown a new women's champion here tonight, but we're up. This historic night at the New Continental deserves the coronation of a brand new women's champion. We look like we're going to get it. Both girls now getting to their feet. Oh, now, Nadia Sapphire on the hair of Aluna Blue, but the referee catching it. Thankfully catching it. Aluna Blue is now answering back with chucks, with slaps. The fire, the fury of Aluna Blue. Nadia Sapphire doesn't know what is going on. Aluna Blue going in for a big forearm strike. And again, another forearm strike. Shot to the gut. Aluna now. Oh, wow! Big DDT for the Luna Blue. Is this it? Count of two. Massive kick out from Nadia Sapphire there, using every last ounce of strength she had to kick out of that. Wow. She's still in this fight. The Luna looking to the crowd. Trying to again feed off the energy. She's up to the middle right now. Going for a high cross body. What are we going to see? We're going to see the three. We're up to two. Big kick out again by Nadia, refusing, refusing to stay down. That's how much this women's championship means to these two women. Sorry, Russian legs. Oh, wow! I, I'm not, I tell you what, I don't, like I say, I don't do this often. I agree with you. I thought that was a three, but Aluna just managing to kick out at two and nine tenths. Nadia needs to get her emotions under control here. She needs to stay focused. Oh, and now driving the, wow, driving the back of the head into the canvas craft. Which way is the momentum going to swing? It is on the side of Nadia right now, but Nadia having a go at the referee. She needs to focus on Aluna. Oh, now we're going for another roll-up. Is this it? Are we going to see a three? No. Aluna with the kick out. Oh, Nadia with the kick out. 
course, we had a handful of tights there. It was clearly Nadia who was pinned. Come on. I'm sorry, it's, it's been a long day. night, Brad. It's been a long night. Uh, maybe for you. Maybe you're not used to performing at the highest caliber. But these two girls certainly are. Look at the time they've been up here. It's absolutely amazing. I'm not sure the Luna had a handful of tights, I've got to say. I'd love to disagree with you, Brad, but I didn't have a good angle from here. I can only imagine that Aluna didn't, but right now, what is going on? Nadia trying to distract her off. Oh, referee. Aluna nearly ran into the referee. Oh, wait. I think the hair, the hair went into the eyes of the referee. I think she's a, she was a little stunned there, a little rocked. What oh, a big fisherman suplex from Nadia Sapphire. That's it, it's all over. 